good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. All right, so I was going to talk about changes. I've been doing a lot of positive ones lately and I'm thinking that, you know what, life's not always positive, uh, unless you look at it that way. So yeah, I'm gonna look at it from a different perspective for a minute and just sort of give you my thoughts. And yeah, it's a little bit of the truth, of my truth anyway. So making changes. Uh, change is constant. Right now, as I'm moving, this is a change. I'm changing my behavior. I'm changing my rhythm. And I can even, my voice changes as we speak. Literally, there's change in words, change in tone, change in rhythm, change in everything. And now we get bigger into that, and we can start talking about how changes in life situations, life circumstances. Maybe you move, maybe you decide to start using different type of toothpaste in the morning or you know eat a different breakfast it's changed it's different and sort of the idea behind this is that dealing with change is very strange <laughs> that rhyme and um basically there's lots of ways you can do it um i don't know how to even go about this really uh a lot of the times change is stressful for me and <clears throat> when change comes <clears throat> it's usually something I try to avoid but it's like you can't avoid change the more you try to run from change the more it's going to come and face you and you're going to have to deal with the change in a more extreme way even because life is like hey you tried to avoid change ha 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 not today you know like it's just something that can't be avoided and there's different ways of dealing with change um you can decide hey i'm going to keep doing these things that are not good for me and you know and not getting me to where i want to be in my life or you can look at that objective and say i'm going to tackle any change that i decide you know any change that comes my way i'm going to hit that head on with the best pristine freaking moves i can and basically yeah you can do that and then you'll achieve your goal and even the slightest changes can make the biggest difference in your life like one of my mentors gave me the advice to wake up at the same time every day i've done it for one day all right <laughs> and i already know tomorrow i'm gonna wake up i'm actually gonna wake up a little earlier tomorrow just because i need to do that for somebody i'm gonna help them wake up and exactly like it's even that has made me feel so much better and then i even had a more um advice that i got from my mentor was to just uh, write three things you're grateful for in the morning and before you go to bed even, that's what I've been doing. And I mean, of course you can think of these things, but it really helps to write them out and just make sure you're getting that on paper. And if you're doing that, you're going to know in your subconscious mind, hey, I'm good, I'm great. You know, I know what I would think thankful for. I've got a good grounding foundation for my appreciation towards life and everything and towards the people in it and then you're basically set off pretty well for all the night you're sleeping and then in the morning when you <clears throat> do that you can set that up for oh, excuse me for the rest of the day and just sort of yeah start your day off on the right foot and then you decide to have two or three goals whatever your goals are in the morning and make those your um what you decide to tackle that day and anything that happens throughout the day that maybe you know feels like you're setting you back for me what I've done is I took a nap today because I was like, all right, I already did that one thing and now the second thing <laughs> is just kind of like stressing me out and I don't have enough energy so I took a nap. And it's okay to take naps because what they're finding out about science these days um, is that some of the stuff that they have been studying was a little outdated, like the sleeping one. Um, there's 24 hours in a day, right? I used to spend my entire day thinking, okay, I need eight hours. But me, myself, and I, being who I am, sleeping uh, eight hours was too much for me. I'd feel drained and whatnot. And that's because I was doing what I needed to do. I was having uh, exercise, eating right, you know, for my body and everything. That was, at least I thought, but you can always eat better and stuff. <laughs> and then, so I didn't need as much sleep. Like, my body and my brain were like, no, you know, whatever. But some people do need more sleep. It's okay. It just depends on who you are, really. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not living your life the right way. Because... There's no right way to live life, and anyone who's judging you and telling you your life isn't like good enough, it's 
like compared to what what standard are we upholding here it's really our own standards and <laughs> just do what makes you happy because at the end of the day as long as you're not hurting anybody and you're doing things that are bringing you joy and others around you there's nothing you can do wrong on life like being here on earth was already our divine purpose we are already who we are and yeah so with that being said i'm gonna say i hope you all have a wonderful evening morning day afternoon whatever it is just have a beautiful life and uh thank you for watching and i will see you next time have a good yeah thanks <laughs> love